Hi and welcome to my YouTube channel. Muslims have always claimed that all the prophets in Islam are sinless. Uh, but they can make mistakes, they say. That's a lie. If you go to Quran chapter 47, by 19, it says that Muhammad was a sinner. Let me show you. Read with me. This is Sahih International Translation. So know, O Muhammad, that there is no deity except Allah and ask forgiveness for your sin. So clearly, as you see here, Muhammad needs to ask for forgiveness for his sin because he is a sinner. So Muslims, stop lying about your prophet. Your prophet was a big time sinner. Okay? So we're going even to make it more humiliating for Muhammad. We're going to show you what kind of contradictory prophet he was. A fake prophet who kept busting himself, exposing himself, and kept contradicting himself over and over. If we go to chapter 19, ayah 19 from Surat Maryam, we can read that Jesus, he says, I am only the messenger of your Lord to give you news of a pure boy. So here, according to Islam, here is Jibril saying to Maryam, the mother of al Messiah Isa, who they claim that he is Jesus, he is giving a pure boy to Maryam. Pure boy. So Jesus is pure. Did you catch it? He is without sin. Jesus, according to the Quran, chapter 19, ayah 19, is without sin. Jesus is sinless. And according to Yusuf Ali translation, he said, Jibreel said, Nay, I'm only a messenger from thy Lord. So he's speaking again to Miriam. To thee the gift of a holy son. Jesus is called holy. Holy. A holy son. This is a deity claim, right? How can a normal human person being holy how can a normal human person be pure without any sin and as we showed you muhammad was with sin muhammad was a big time sinner right if we go to the tafsir for uh, ayah 19 from chapter 19 tafsir jalalain it says he said i'm only a messenger of your Lord, that I may give you a boy who shall be pure. So even the tafsir, so the Muslims don't say uh, this is a lineup. Even the tafsir of Al Jalalain, one of the biggest scholars in Islam, one of the earliest scholars of Islam, saying that Jesus is pure for the tafsir of chapter 19. And if we go to Ibn Kathir's tafsir for the same ayah, Ibn Kathir makes it even more worse. Look what Ibn Kathir says. Verily, he, Jesus, is the most able to do whatever he wills. So not only Jesus holy, on top of being holy, he is on top of being pure, he can also do whatever he wants. So clearly, <laughs> if we add things up, Jesus is more than a normal human being. He has deity attributes. He is holy, he is without sin, he is sinless, and he can do whatever he wants. So he has the qualities of God, right? But you know me, I have to make it even more worse than this, guys. I'm going to show you how Muhammad contradicted himself. And he contradicted the book of Allah, he contradicted the Quran. If we go to the Hadith, if we go to sunnah.com, it says, in Sahih Muslim, Hadith number 2749, this is the source, the reference. It says, By him in whose hand is my life, if you were not to be, commit sin, Allah would sweep you out of existence. And he would replace you by those people who would commit sin. So according to this Hadith, according to this Hadith, according to Muhammad, because this is from Muhammad's mouth, if you as a normal human being do not commit sin, Allah will 
remove you from existence. He would erase you from existence. But wait a second. Wasn't Jesus a pure sinless man? A holy person without sin? So according to this hadith, Muhammad busted himself because he said that if you don't commit sin, Allah will remove you from existence. He will erase you from existence. So why? Here's the one million dollar question. Why or oh why didn't Allah remove Jesus from existence? And on this, on top of that, Jesus is now with Allah according to Islam in Jannah. Why didn't Allah remove Jesus who is without sin from existence? So as you see here in this hadith, Muhammad busted himself. He busted his Allah and the book of Allah. So Muslims, as you see, your prophet is nothing but a fake prophet. Contradicting himself. He's a big time sinner. And Jesus is holy, pure, sinless in Islam. According to chapter 19 of the Quran. And on top of that, he is the attributes of God. So Muslims wake up, leave this cult, drop Muhammad because he is a fake prophet, a scam, and accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Guys, thank you for watching. Share this video around on social media and God bless.